In 1972, French geologist Michel Seifer embarked on a significant NASA project by living in an isolated cave in Texas for six months. This experiment aimed to study the effects of prolonged isolation on the human body and brain, particularly relevant for future interplanetary missions. Sifra resided in the cave with basic necessities like water and food, and his environment was controlled for consistent light and temperature. Significantly, he had no means to track time, which affected his perception of day and night, leading him to live according to his own rhythm. During the experiment, Sifra experienced alterations in his sense of time. His days extended beyond the standard 24 hours, reaching up to 32 hours of wakefulness, followed by 16 hours of sleep. This distortion became so pronounced that when the experiment concluded after 179 days, Sifre believed he had only spent 155 days in the cave. His perception of time had slowed significantly, and he underestimated the actual duration by 28 days. This phenomenon of subjective time distortion has been observed in other cases of human isolation. For instance, Veronique Lan, who spent 111 days in a cave in 1988, believed only 42 days had passed. Similarly, Stefania Fellini in 1989 and an Italian sociologist in 1993 experienced drastic misperceptions of time during their extended stays in isolation. These cases underscore that human perception of time is subjective and can be heavily influenced by environmental factors and isolation. We have to also explore the broader concept of time from both a philosophical and scientific perspective. It suggests that our understanding of time, like color, is a construct of the brain rather than an external reality. Historical figures like Aurelius Augustine and physicist Richard Feen have contemplated the nature of time, acknowledging its complex and elusive nature. Modern physics further complicates our understanding of time, challenging traditional views and suggesting that our intuitive understanding might not align with the actual nature of the universe. Now we delves into a thought experiment involving a hypothetical train scenario to illustrate the special theory of relativity and the relativity of simultaneity. This experiment demonstrates how different observers can perceive the same event differently, based on their relative motion, leading to seemingly contradictory realities. This concept challenges traditional logic and our understanding of the universe. American neuroscientist Dean Buonomano's work, particularly his book, Your Brain is a Time Machine, is referenced to highlight the brain's role in encoding time. Buonomano suggests that the brain functions as a time machine, not in terms of time travel, but in its constant engagement with time for survival and prediction. Human perception of time is an illusion, not a physical entity and this perception is deeply integrated into our brain's functions, no specific part of the brain solely responsible for determining time. Instead, most neural networks contribute to this function. The brain, in its broader sense, is described as a time machine, not in terms of time travel, but in its continuous engagement with time. This concept is supported by examples of how animals have evolved to predict future events for survival, such as predators anticipating their prey's behavior and animals preparing for changes in seasons. Dean Buonomano, a neuroscientist, emphasizes that the human brain is constantly predicting future events, a process that is mostly automatic and unconscious. For example, humans react instinctively to catch a falling object or adapt to the rhythm of music. This ability to anticipate and react is vital for survival and is evident in various aspects of life, including sports, music, and daily routines. We have to discuss the concept of short-term memory and its role in forming a continuous perception of the present. An experiment is described where a person alternates their gaze between another person's eyes, observing the movement. 
However, when trying to observe this movement in oneself using a mirror, the movement isn't perceived because the brain omits these transitional moments, creating a seamless experience. The tragic story of British music critic Clive Waring, who suffers from severe amnesia, illustrates the importance of memory in shaping our perception of time. Waring's memory lasts only a few seconds, making his life a continuous loop of waking up to a new moment. His condition highlights how memory contributes to the continuity of our experience and the sense of living in the present. Our perception of time can be altered under different conditions, such as emotional shock or life-threatening situations, where time seems to slow down. This phenomenon is not yet fully understood, and several hypotheses are proposed. One is the brain's potential to briefly increase its efficiency akin to overclocking a processor. Another hypothesis is hypermemory, suggesting that detailed memories of events make them seem longer in retrospect. However, the third and most intriguing hypothesis is the concept of meter illusion, which proposes that our experience of time may itself be an illusion created by the brain. This idea is supported by the rubber hand illusion, where the brain can be tricked into feeling a sensation in a location other than where it's actually occurring. This suggests that if our brain can create spatial illusions, it might also be capable of creating temporal illusions. The author theorizes that our normal sense of time is a mental construct that can have different speed settings, as evidenced by how we can mentally speed up or slow down our actions or perceptions. Several personal accounts illustrate how individuals perceive time and space differently during traumatic events. A 21-year-old university student and a soldier both report experiences where time seemed to stop or stretch and their spatial awareness altered. These accounts suggest that in critical situations, not only does the perception of time change, but also the perception of space, often leading to out-of-body experiences or a feeling of detachment from reality. This could be due to a flood of neuroactive substances in the brain during high-stress situations, which may overload neural networks and cause these altered perceptions. Our experience of time can be both slowed down and sped up. For instance, waiting times feel longer when there is nothing to distract us, like music, which can make time seem to pass more quickly. This leads to a broader question about the nature of time itself. Is time a physical process that can be divided into smaller units, or is it a continuous flow? The concept of a chronon is introduced as the smallest discrete unit of time in some physics models, suggesting that time might be discrete. Einstein's theory of relativity plays a significant role in shaping our understanding of time. It implies that time, as determined by atomic clocks, is affected by gravity and can vary based on location. For example, atomic clocks tick faster on a space satellite than on Earth. Over the Earth's lifetime, this difference in time has led to a 2.5-year age gap between the core and the crust. Despite advancements in time measurement, science still grapples with whether time is discrete or continuous, with some paradoxes suggesting that a discrete model of time could lead to logical contradictions. Albert Einstein's quote that the division into past, present, and future is a stable illusion highlights the symmetry of physics laws with respect to time. The laws of physics do not distinguish between past, present, and future, which leads to the concept of a block universe where every moment is real and exists simultaneously. This idea is further elaborated through a thought experiment involving the relativity of simultaneity. 
where two people passing each other might experience different sets of simultaneous events depending on their relative motion and position in the universe. Now we explore the idea that our understanding of time might be an illusion based on how the brain constructs our perception of space and time. We can suggest that just as the brain can create spatial illusions, it might also create temporal illusions. This concept is supported by phenomena like the rubber hand illusion, where the brain can be tricked into feeling a sensation in a different location than where it's actually occurring. Swiss psychologist Jean Piaget's work is highlighted for its relevance in understanding how children perceive time and space. Piaget's experiments with children, such as the one with two moving snakes, reveal that young children tend to link distance and time, suggesting an innate understanding of the relativity of time. This finding parallels Einstein's theory of relativity, indicating a deep-rooted human comprehension of space-time. Adult perceptions of time are also explored, particularly through the phenomenon known as the Kappa effect. This effect demonstrates how the brain links the concepts of space and time, as evidenced by experiments where the perceived time interval between events is influenced by the spatial distance between them. For instance, many people visualize time as a horizontal line running from left to right. This is supported by experiments showing that people respond more naturally to time-related tasks when they align with this left-to-right spatial orientation. Cognitive impairments, such as strokes affecting the right parietal cortex, can disrupt this spatial-temporal representation leading to challenges in recalling the temporal context of events. This further underscores the deep connection between space and time in the human brain. Language also reflects the spatial-temporal link, with many expressions about time borrowing from spatial metaphors, a trend observed across languages. Despite advances in understanding, the precise mechanisms by which the brain processes spatial and temporal information remain a subject of ongoing research. Einstein's theory suggests that time is not a separate entity, but part of a four-dimensional space-time continuum. This leads to the concept of a block universe, where past, present, and future exist simultaneously, challenging our intuitive understanding of time as a linear flow. Despite this, the laws of physics have yet to fully explain the subjective experience of time's passage, a phenomenon deeply ingrained in human consciousness. Various physicists and philosophers have attempted to reconcile this discrepancy, with some suggesting that the sense of time's flow might be an illusion or a mental construct. In summary, our exploration of time has revealed it to be a complex and subjective experience, deeply influenced by both our psychological processes and the laws of physics. From Michel Sifra's cave isolation experiment to Einstein's theory of relativity, we've seen how our perception of time can be distorted and how it challenges our conventional understanding. Neuroscientist Dean Bonomano's work further suggests that our brain is a time machine, constantly predicting and adapting to the future. These insights lead us to consider the possibility that our perception of time might be an illusion or a mental construct, a profound and challenging idea. The nature of time remains one of the most intriguing mysteries we face, familiar yet elusive integral to our existence, yet difficult to comprehend. If this exploration of time intrigued you, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more thought-provoking content. Share this video and join the conversation by leaving a comment. Let's continue unraveling the mysteries of the universe together.